having the dreams, baby. What can I do when a million things are running through? Million things I can't undo. I just sleep, walk. I just sleep, talk. That's all I got. What can I say when a million things I can't even? Hey guys, so I decided that I'm gonna start vlogging some of my life and i thought why not start on a great day which is my birthday yes yeah, my birthday today and so i'm just gonna vlog a little bit about what i get up to today my boyfriend has um a few things planned for me um today and friday so i'm just gonna you know take a little bit of footage of the day and see how it goes i'm quite excited i wasn't planning on celebrating my birthday at all really um i just don't feel good within myself and of course you must celebrate your birthday because it's a celebration of life but i just feel like i'm in a moment of time where i'm not i'm not feeling like i'm doing so well um in like everything really and the main thing that's getting to me is my health i am overweight and i have like quite big breasts as well so um yeah it's just been really trying to focus on my weight loss journey it's going well it's just going really slow and i don't mind that at all as long as it's working and i'll get to where i'm going at the end i don't mind about the slow rate of weight loss at all i think that's a better way to lose weight anyway when you lose weight slowly because it will stay off instead of doing like a fad diet and then being back to your normal size or even bigger after you go back to eat normal normally so yeah that's what i'm up to at the moment just trying to lose some weight because <laughs> it's really holding me back from my confidence levels my you know even on youtube like him hey, video recording you only see me record from the shoulders upwards because i'm just so self-conscious of my boobs like they're massive i'm not going to say what size i am i'll probably do another video on my weight and my body and <laughs> how i feel about it and what i plan to do oh yeah i'm feeling good I've made sure to do some health checks, like I've been to the dentist, gone to the doctors about some things I was worried about or concerned about. So just over COVID period, I was just not going to the dentist, not going to the doctors. I just, <laughs> do you know what? I had the most anxiety throughout, throughout that COVID period. And it's only now I feel like I'm coming out of my shell a bit. So yeah, I'm just getting out there a bit more. <laughs> so yeah, I'm currently eating breakfast. We bought some croissants and some cheese and ham. So I'm eating a ham and cheese croissant and a normal croissant. <laughs> and um, having my cold coffee and a little bit of cranberry and raspberry. Oh, as you can see, I've done, partially done my nails. These are press-ons and I'm just going to paint them white, probably. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to paint them one solid colour. Um, yeah, my breakfast is here. Got the ham and cheese croissant. I don't even know how to say that croissant croissant <laughs> and one mashed that one because i tried to cut that one and it got all smushed because it was hot but yeah yeah i put them in the oven to make them get a little bit crispy lovely lovely so i'm just going to eat my breakfast now and paint my nails and then go to the nail shop to get my toes done i don't ever go to the shop to get myself my toes done i usually do it myself and I just don't have the time to sit there and do my nails. I've already done these. I had to reshape them to how skinny my fingers are. You know, can you see that? Very slim fingers. So I never usually like the way the nail shop does my nails. I always like to do them myself. But yeah, my toes can get done by somebody else, <laughs> gladly. So yeah, I'm just going to eat up, get ready and go to the nail shop, come back and... All I know is I have to be ready for 5.30 for tonight's plans. So, yeah, I'll be back. I forgot to mention, the reason why I'm obsessed with having, having cheese croissants is from when me and my boyfriend went to Amsterdam. And we got the nicest ham and cheese croissants from Lidl's. Oh, so I've been trying to replicate that croissant for years now. And it seems like it's a birthday tradition now. So every birthday I make croissants and ham and cheese it's not as nice as um the amsterdam one but it will do maybe i've been going nowhere lately it's time to start all over and go for it 
It's a lovely day today. So I'm just going off to get my toenails done now and possibly buy myself a little bit of jewellery. That's going for my niece. <laughs> she was supposed to be coming with me and she just left me on my lonesome on my birthday. So she's saying don't say it like that. But don't ever have nieces, they're horrible. Yes, they are. You have a choice. Don't ever have nieces. <laughs> Vlogging. Wow, this is annoying. <laughs> My arms hurt at me already. Jeez, how do these vloggers do? I have no idea. But anyways, yeah, on my way. Good afternoon, just been heard of a red signal here while I'm trying to cross the car in front of me. Should be on the main door. Every night I close my eyes and see only love and dreams, baby. What can I do? Yes, I'm in dirty, dirty clothes. Haven't been up in ages, actually. Going on a hunt to find this place now. And look at these spots, honestly. It's hormonal spots. It's my birthday. And I'm supposed to be coming on today. <laughs> How annoying. But yeah, hopefully it doesn't. I hope it does. No biggie. It's a different exit that I'm used to, so I don't actually know. <laughs> This way, I have to get off and get a bus. <laughs> but my son's coming home from school now, and my phone's dead. It's 3 30 now, and I've got to be ready by 6. Oh, pray for me, that's all I'm saying. So, what was meant to be a 10 minute journey on the train turned into an hour. And that's remembered why I don't like taking a train or walking because you get chance by every living thing on the road. Okay, so I'm back home now and I quickly iron my clothes, iron Sean's shirt and quickly get ready and do my makeup. Look how I'm sweating, oh my God. It's so warm outside. Nice, nice weather on my birthday, as always. But yeah, quickly get this ironing done and then quickly get ready. I need to get ready within an hour. Help me. Birthday number 21. Uh, 25, 25. Oh, okay. <laughs> 25th birthday. Vibes. Vibing. Can't really see anything. It's got it's dark now. It's my favourite restaurant. <laughs> and this is my hot date. Oh, don't buy that. But... I got a present for you. Huh? I got a present for you. For me? Yeah. What present? <laughs> huh? I'm pregnant. <laughs> no, you're lying. No, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. <laughs> You're lying. No, I wouldn't have a baby. No, you're lying. <laughs> I'm not lying. For real? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh she was. Please sit down. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey, this is the. Hey, he's about to get up and hug me. Aw, oh, that was a good reaction. So, yeah, I'm not going to drink too much because we've got some alcohol in the car already. I am an active alcoholic, so I need to bring my alcohol with me. <laughs> no, when I drink, I like to drink. So we're gonna bring the alcohol into the cinema. Um, 
you can. We've got snacks and cupcakes and, and yeah, alcohol. <laughs> so we got ourselves a drink. And this is called Sex in the Jungle, something like that. <laughs> um, it's really nice. It's basically like um, Sex on the Beach. But it's got some blue liquor in it to make it green, basically. And that's what that is. It tastes really nice. morning guys it's the day after my birthday and i am feeling a little bit rough um so after dinner we went to the cinema and we watched chai chi chai chai shang chi again because we really liked it we watched it in 4d before and we just wanted to watch it in a normal definition um yesterday so yeah it was really good even though sean fell asleep in the cinema <laughs> i mean who does that <laughs> yeah so it's good dinner was good uh, it's my favourite restaurant, but we had to rush and eat because we needed to get to the movie for a certain time. I got one cocktail, but as I said, I bought my own bottle of drink anyway, so drank a little bit of that at the cinema. But I was so stuffed in the cinema that I didn't even eat any of the snacks. Yeah, I just had one cupcake and a few sweets. Oh, also, I changed my nails. I don't really like the way they look, but... <laughs> I had to repaint them because the white was staining already. I wasn't really feeling that at all. Spent some time last night redoing my nails um <laughs> my toenails yeah i don't really like the way they came out you know they're just a little bit too pink like the shade needs to be a little bit brighter i think on my skin tone they don't look bad and i really appreciate the fact that i didn't have to scrub my own feet because that can take forever sometimes and my feet don't need a lot of work anyway so it's quite light work for him i didn't get to vlog much in Croydon because um yeah there was a lot of people out just dodgy characters <laughs> so I didn't really feel comfortable taking my camera out I think for my first time anyway in a busy area I think it would have been too much for me oh yeah I had a cheeky happy meal yeah so it was a good day oh yeah um I'm going into the train station yesterday and this guy comes up to me obviously trying to chat me up and I was like oh Jesus, I'm holding my little happy meal in my hands, and he, the things that he's saying is just garbage. Like, oh, I like your shape, oh, the coolie, da 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 da. I was like, oh, oh, do you like music? Like, yeah, I think everybody likes music. But like, obviously, like with these kind of people, you have to just, you know, keep it short and sweet, because he looked like he would have done something to me and i feel like that's a it happens a lot over here these guys take offense when you reject them so just politely you know answer their questions whatever they're inquiring he asked me um oh let's get to know each other i was like i've got a husband <laughs> no ring but luckily i don't think he noticed no ring but yeah i was like i've got a husband and he's like oh Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> but yeah, terrible. Some people might say, oh, take it as a compliment. But it doesn't make me feel good, though. I've never been appealed by any anything that these boys have said to me on the road. Like, they need to up their game, honestly. Today, I'm going to eat my breakfast, have my coffee, make the baby's lunch and bring it to him. Oh, yeah, because the baby's not here. Yeah, this first night over at his grandma's house today, and we just woke up <laughs> it was so quiet it was so quiet this morning um i actually slept through but sean went to work oh i miss him <laughs> mm. yeah so i'm just gonna make his lunch and then bring it to him i might chill over there with him for a while even though i've got a bit of um editing to do i don't have a video prepared for this week at all and tomorrow i'm gonna be busy and if I have a really good night on Friday, I don't know if I'm going to be up for editing on Saturday. So, we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, um, struggled so much to find an outfit for Friday. Um, I've got so much pretty little thing bags around here. You can see one on the back there. So, my birthday dress is green. <laughs> I know. But I do like green. And it's a, it's a really nice green. It's like an olive light olive kind of color dress looks really nice and really flattering on as you know um i'm a plus size girl at the moment working on it 
and these boobies they're just so hard to fit in anything honestly like it makes it so difficult for me to buy clothes found a dress brilliant got shoes got a handbag got jewelry so it's all good all set for tomorrow just have to make sure i'm ready on time <laughs> I'm actually excited. I don't actually know what Sean's done for me. I keep asking him questions, but he just like shut me down all the time. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty exciting. All right, let's get this day started because I'm going to be sitting here forever talking to you guys. <laughs> really not that bad. It just needs a little <laughs> shaping. To the salon! <laughs> guys it's the 30th of september today and i haven't spoken to you guys for about five days since my birthday i don't even think i spoke to you on my birthday do um i was just so busy that day i had so much to do i was rushing even got there late which was a bummer but it was fine um so on friday my boyfriend planned a karaoke night for me and uh, it was supposed to be a surprise but i'm too smart for that <laughs> Well, it was, a, it was a surprise because I didn't expect certain people to be there that I haven't seen for years. So that was a really nice surprise. Um, so yeah, you took me to, you planned the karaoke night for me. It had Chinese cuisine and we had like egg fried rice and chicken skewers, chicken wing skewers, prawn skewers, lamb skewers and all of that stuff. Um, all on, all grilled in the barbecue, I believe. Really good, seasoned really, 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 really nicely, really flavoursome. Um, special fried rice and egg fried rice was really good drinks oh my goodness um drinks galore literally we were drinking from the moment we got there to the moment we left and we actually took a bottle of confossier with us out literally my boyfriend paid for everything in advance so literally we were just free to drink as much as we like when you have alcohol in abundance on a night out it's a good night <laughs> So we had a really good night, sang our little hearts out at the top of our lungs. It was a soundproof room as well, so you could only really hear the noise once the door was opened. Oh my gosh, we sound like a bunch of cats singing, honestly. <laughs> it was so funny. Yeah, he bought us cupcakes as well as cupcakes there. So literally like female energy, cake, singing, dancing, clubbing, my favourite things. <laughs> the only thing I was missing was obviously my boyfriend. I found out before the day that he wasn't going to be there but um he was a bit bummed out about that but it's fine <laughs> it was a ladies night can't bring my boyfriend to a ladies night so that was that and then we went out afterwards as well after we had a booking from 6 30 to 10 30 i believe and so we went out afterwards and yeah it was <laughs> it was a good night it's about seven or eight of us there i haven't been out since before I had my son from about 2018 is the last time me and Sean went out together and I really really felt odd 
being outside there. I think it would have been fine if I wasn't overweight. I felt super self-conscious. I just felt uncomfortable the whole night. The bra, when I wear bras anyway, they just really cut into like the sides and it's just really uncomfortable. So I didn't actually let that affect my night. I had a really good night. But when it came to the clubbing part, I did feel a little bit self-conscious. So I wasn't dancing like I usually do and stuff like that. I didn't want to get too wasted because I wanted to have myself together, be in control. And I'm not usually like that when I go out. I'm usually like the life of the party, dancing, like really, like dancing in the middle of the dance floor and stuff like that. Just having a whale of a time. And I just felt like a little bit depressed when I got back. I was like a bit overwhelmed. I felt sad, like even after having a good night out. And that's when I realised like, Sarah, you need to get your life together. You need to get your life together. So yeah, it's been about a week since that day. And now today, I woke up today, I'm with a fresh mindset. And I'm jumping back onto the healthy lifestyle. I woke up today, wrote my journal, wrote how I felt wrote my goals for this week and my goals for the month so that's what i'm gonna put to action today i've woke up watched the motivational weight loss journey video on youtube um drank some water had my breakfast and my coffee and now i've just got ready to go and go for a walk outside and it's actually not that great weather outside so yeah i'm gonna have to take an umbrella it looks like it's raining but i'm still gonna get out there because i need to get out of this house <laughs> honestly i need to get out of the house like i'm i work from home so i'm in the house a lot and just sitting down a lot so i actually have to get physical so if i was in my old job my old retail job i would literally be walking around and the commute from work alone adds to the physical activity for the day but I actually have to physically leave my house to get that 30 minute walk in plus another exercise. So yeah, I'm gonna aim for 30 to 90 minutes of exercise every day. Just get active every day and I'm gonna get back on my healthy eating. But this time I think I'm gonna be a bit more vigorous with it and stick to eating like no starchy carbs at all. Stick to eating good fats, so no fried food or anything like that no snacking i don't i'm not really a snacker anyway if i snack i'm i'm usually like a fruit or nut kind of snacker <sighs> but yeah i'm feeling good today i'm gonna go on this stupid cold wet walk <laughs> and come back and do some editing and have lunch and exercise so that's my plan for today and we'll see how it goes but yeah i'll see you guys in a bit Oh, I forgot to mention my hair. So this is only a four braid braid out and I washed my hair basically and I just applied this Maui Moisture Curl Smoothie and just put my hair in four plaits and this is the results. But yeah, this is the hair. Not too shabby. Really quick and easy hairstyle. And this is what I call being a lazy natural because sometimes it's a bit much, you know. Better get walking because time is ticking. I think it's about 12 o'clock now. I'll see you guys a bit later. dreams baby what can i do when a million things are running through million things i can't undo i just sleep walk i just sleep talk that's all i got what can i say with a million things i can't erase million people i can't save i just sleep walk I just... okay so i'm back from my walk now and it is I think one now I have no lunch so I'm gonna go make lunch now yeah it was a nice little walk nice breeze out there not too cold I actually had to take off my thick scarf walked for about 30 minutes up the hills down the hills oh. so I'm a little bit flustered the hair survived really well out there in that wind as you can see it's still defined so yeah 
So yeah, I'm off to make lunch now. I'm gonna tidy up a bit, start editing, and then, did I say tidy up? Yeah, I think that's the main goal today is to tidy up and to edit before I have to make dinner for my son. So I've got about four hours or so to do all of that. So yeah, I better get to it because, you know, time runs when you're at home by yourself, no kids, the time flies. So yeah, I'll be back. Just mix it. So I'm going to add my sweet pepper and my onion. I got half a pack of this turkey ham in here with half a pack of spinach, and I just chopped it up. Add that to the bowl too. Oh, the jug. Um, I don't have any cheese, or else I would have just sprinkled a little bit of cheese in there. But we'll make it work. And then I just go ahead and mix that. I did think I actually had cheese. So that's kind of a bummer. It's okay. It's still gonna taste good. I'm gonna turn the oven on to 180 degrees. My muffin tray. I'm gonna spray some of this in it. And just go ahead and pour the mixture in. Not all the way up either, because you don't want them to overspill. So, and so that's all done, ready to go in the oven. So I just set, set the time for 20 minutes, just to see how it goes. So after 20, and then yeah, ready to eat. So, these are ready now. I've got my son's food on. Now plate up and eat up. And this is the lunch. I had four, or oh, I'm having four, just to equate to having two eggs. Because I use six eggs and there's twelve muffins, so yeah, yeah. I'm having four and then I have two more portions for the next two days. I'm gonna put that in a container. On my way to my son's grandma's house, have lunch, have lunch with him, spend some time with him, and then probably go back, make a green juice because I need to detox a little bit. Drank a little bit too much yesterday. Literally, I was just drinking while I was watching movies. Watched about three movies last night. Went to bed about four. So yeah, luckily they only live ten minutes away from me. So. That's great. <laughs> yes, my boyfriend, my forever boyfriend, only lived 10 minutes away from me all this time. <laughs> yeah, so, almost there now. Oh, oh Cheryl, you're not right. Hello. Oh. Just in case when you leave, he takes off. That's all right. <laughs> He'll be all right. He goes into one. Hi, Ty. Hello. 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 Oh, yeah. Anyway, you're here, Come on, Izzy. Good job. 
<laughs> Are you going to zip it up as well? Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. It's a helicopter. It's gone. things are running through. Million things I cannot do. I just sleep walk. I just sleep talk. That's all I got. What can I say with a million things? Hey guys, so it's another gloomy day in London and I haven't done much today. I can't remember the last thing I updated you guys on last week. <laughs> it's really hard to vlog when um, the baby's here and the rest of the family when they come home as well. It's just hectic. So I just brought my son to his grandma's and now I'm going to get on with some editing and cook his dinner. <laughs> and i might if i have time i might record another youtube video as well my hair's not been washed for a little while now and i want to try out another miel product last time i used the uh, curl sculpting custard on a wash and go so if you haven't seen that video it should be up now yeah so i feel quite spaced out today my son has been waking up early hours in the morning and just singing at the top of his lungs and not going back to sleep until like 6 7 a.m so my boyfriend he's amazing at waking up and dealing with isaac so yeah um apparently two year olds go through a sleep regression as well so i think that's what's happening it happened when he was one and a half it literally lasted about two weeks where he was just waking up in the middle of the night and not going down easy now he's a little bit older there's nothing much to comfort him with because he doesn't get rocked to sleep or anything like that he doesn't like rocking he doesn't even like being held too much so it's a bit hard to like settle him um we just play him some classical music we did, we've been doing that since he was born and it really soothes him but even that's not working his favorite songs he doesn't sleep to he just sings to now oh so that's been going on for about i'll say five days now and it feels like it's been going on forever and i'm not i'm not good when i don't have sleep yeah i haven't done much today it's what one one o'clock now i haven't done much for my day at all i literally just gave him his breakfast got him ready got myself ready and went and bring him to his grandma's and it's one o'clock so i've got a lot to do today and I don't think I'm going to have time to do everything that I want to do. It is what it is. And it's only temporary and the sleep progression is not going to last that long. So a bit of a bum down day today. Um, but let's hope it's a productive one. So with my weight loss now, I'm starting to journal everything that I'm feeling or any tips that I might need to be successful. <laughs> so now I'm fasting because I wasn't fasting before. But I feel like fasting is necessary because it drops insulin down. And when you spike your insulin, there's no fat burning going on at all. So I'm trying to stick to two meals now, no snacks in between. But I do have some like trial mix that I like to have after dinner because it's like sweet. So that's my sweet for the day. And also I'm going to be mixing in some protein shakes as well. I don't know where that's going to fit in my eating schedule, but... I need to make sure my protein intake is adequate. So yeah, that's the main things. I'm trying to build muscle and lose fat at the same time. So yeah, it's more like a body composition, co body composition instead of like just fat loss. Yeah, so I'm just not left with like a bag of a bag of bones. <laughs> so um, so yeah, a lot to think about, a lot to do. I'm gonna go eat. Maybe that will perk me up a bit. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit.
morning guys it's a new week and it's a cloudy day in london it was sunny just a minute ago and just keep keeps going in and out of sunshine a little bit of rain on the window so i don't know what's going on i don't know what season it is but it's been like summer a minute ago now it feels like autumn so but i'm not going outside today so it doesn't really matter um as you can see i've got my set up going today i'm going to be recording a series of videos i'm going to be recording my curly to straight routine it's the same routine as i have on my channel already but i'm just going to film it for you guys because i film every time i straighten my hair so that's what i'm going to do today i'm also going to um rinse my hair with a semi semi permanent black color you can't see in my hair that I have grey hair, but it's all in the back of my hair, like right in the middle there. I've got like a stream of grey hair. I'm not really too concerned about them because they're in the back, so I can't see them anyway. But I think when I dye my hair black, it looks so much healthier. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. Rinse, wash, blow dry, straighten, trim, all that jazz. And also what I'm going to do now is record my pre pre routine i know i had one just a few weeks ago but i wanted to try out this um african pride moisture moisture miracle aloe and coconut water detangle and condition pre shampoo bloody yeah they get really experimented with these names don't they but yeah i've heard so many good things about this product so i just want to try it as you can see it's like a liquid form <laughs> i usually just use my oils and my water and like a little bit of condition in my water. That's that. I mean, before I started YouTube, I literally just had my staple products and that was it. But obviously now I'm trying a lot of different products just so that I can try them out for you guys. So I have built up my product collection quite a lot. And I'm actually just giving in and going to buy like one of those shelf things to put all my products on. <laughs> I know, but yeah. So yeah, I'm just going to get recording because it's late now. I woke up late today already as it is. And usually when I'm recording, doing my hair, it takes a lot longer than it would usually do in real life. Sorry, but I know this has been a very long vlog. And, well, to me, it seems like it's going to be long. And a bit nor here nor there kind of thing. But yeah, that's my life. I don't do a lot day to day. I'm at home most of the time, so what can I do when I go home? I don't eat out that much. I don't, <laughs> I don't really go anywhere. Um, and if I'm going somewhere, it's a family member's house or something like that. So, yeah, very plain Jane. <laughs> so I'm going to crack on with everything now. Get these videos recorded. The next time you see me, my hair will be straight. Because as you know, it is a silk press season. Oh my god, I haven't had time to vlog at all today. I've literally just been recording all day look at the state of me oh i just finished recording my um semi-permanent hair dye video and made an absolute mess of things my nails are completely ruined look at my nails oh it's got like a black rim like i did that on purpose like the dye washed off my hands fair enough i mean it's still got like a blue tinge but on my nails like out of all places i didn't want it to die <laughs> anyway i will finish this vlog off on thursday i guess nothing special happening on thursday either but um yeah we'll see i gotta go to the dentist actually so we'll see yeah anyways bye <laughs> oh, oh my god I'm so angry. I'm so angry. All of the content that I just recorded, there's something wrong with it. And I'm just so confused what's wrong. I don't know how if, or if I'm going to be able to fix it. It's like proper staggering. So I might just have to do a voiceover and just speed up the videos. I don't know what I'm going to do with that content crap that's what it is it's crap but i'll figure it out youtuber problems honestly like learning how to um use a camera i think it's one of the hardest things i've ever actually tried to teach myself it's like every time i want to record my curly to straight routine it's something goes wrong 
So here I am in my living room trying to record. I've got this little light here to try and jazz up the room a bit. Yes, and I had to make sure that the volume's working because that's happened to me before. I've recorded a whole video like blow and dry, straight in wash and condition. I've, I've done all of that without any sound. So yeah, I'm here, ready to go again. <laughs> a little bit poofy I don't know why the end of the video these are my results as you can see they're very happy I don't know how long I'm going to keep it in for because I am actually on a weight loss journey and I need to exercise I've got to lose some of these boobies honestly because it's not cutting it weight loss it is instead of straight hair great so yeah I'm probably going to just keep it in for about two weeks if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I am almost at a thousand, guys. Almost. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.